Hey, Marsha Grace, your Calm Creativity Connector here. As always, it's Friday and welcome. Uh, today, you were born abundant is what I'm going to talk about. Um, you know, Webster's Dictionary uh, defines abundance as plentiful supply and overflowing fullness. In other words, it's a state where there's no lack. No lack, right? Isn't that what we long for? We all want to be abundant. We want to be plentifully full and having no lack at all. So yeah, yeah. And I, I, who am a positive thinker, I really believe such a thing is possible. And I know for myself that I, uh, I am such a totally different person from when I was a young woman and uh, worried about everything, nervous and type A, you know, the whole bit. <clears throat> and today, my life is just so much more peaceful, relaxing, enjoyable, because I've made some decisions. And that's what I've been working with you over this, this last many weeks um, of talking about having an abundance mentality, because I'm all about releasing stress, right? That's me, the calm creativity connector. And uh, I know we can do this. We can do this if we put our minds to it. Everything begins in your mind. Everything is, begins with a thought. You know, I say that all the time. And that's why it's essential that we um, really look at some things. I, I just want to go over a couple of things with you because um, uh, abundant, the word abundance itself really replies, uh, applies to anything. You know, it applies to um, uh, your mental state because uh, when you are abundant mentally, you are endowed with a mind that's capable of endless possibilities, right? I mean, the human imagination is amazing. Uh, emotionally, well, you were born to have feelings and thoughts that you would share with uh, the people around you and have meaningful relationships, right? Uh, physically, to be abundant physically, uh, you were born with a body that has amazing capabilities of, of strength and endurance. I mean, we have... Uh, uh, amazing athletes. Um, not that you have to be an athlete, don't get me wrong, <laughs> certainly not, but we can use our bodies very, very meaningfully and healthily. And, uh, and, and this all, again, all has to do with uh, releasing the stress in our lives. You know, because when you're stressed, you're not going to take care of your body. We know this, right? Okay, so um, this uh, Abundance Mentality series is coming to an end today. This is the last one of 18. This is the 18th episode if you like. And um, early on in the, the, the series, I was talking about uh, the scarcity mentality uh, that we may develop, you know, in our growing up years. You know, people, just things happen. We lose people. Um, people are mean to us. Uh, we don't, you know, things happen, whatever. And so it tends to diminish our abundance mentality. So, but that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. That's experience. So it's all about how you view it, right? You can take those experiences and let them work for you, work for the good. Because everything that, te everything that happens in our lives teaches us something. Does it teach you uh, to be scared and, and nervous and hide in a corner and, and not shine your light? Or does it teach you that, hey, I got through this. Maybe it wasn't easy, but I did it, and here I am, and I'm, you know, I'm going to keep going, and it's going to be even better. So, um, hi, Michael, <laughs> my steadfast companion. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so um, this, this, uh, if you have an ab abundance mentality, it's going to obliterate that scarcity. It's going to, it's just going to. There's no room for the two, so it's one or the other. No choice here. Um, you're either in a state of love or a state of fear. That's what A Course in Miracles says, my, my spiritual path. That's what it says. So choose the love, right? It's so much more fun. I definitely go for that. So, all right. Um, so wh what do I want to say? So we can we can opt in for the abundance as opposed to the... Uh, scarcity in your thoughts, in your feelings, in your actions, so that your life becomes abundant and you have the joy and happiness that you long for and deserve, right? You deserve it. Why not? Of course you do. 
So I suggest you go back if you haven't had a chance to read or listen to, because they're on Facebook as well, but if you haven't been able to uh, get these, um, uh, these episodes, go back to my website, marciagrace.com, and you can read them in my blog. You know, they're all there. And I really suggest you do that because you deserve to have the happiness and the peace. And why not take a shortcut? Instead of struggling through things on your own, take some advice from someone who's been around the block a few times. <laughs> You know, I've been there. I've done that. You know, I know. Um, I've lost loved ones. I've met up with all kinds of um, roadblocks along the way, and uh, including my own that I've ma manifested in my mind. Uh, and um, and so I can speak from experience. So uh, what else do I want to say? Uh, you want to get rid of this scarcity mentality because you don't want to miss out on all the exciting possibilities that could be filling up your life and preventing you from interacting with others and helping other people. So you know how great it feels when you help somebody? You must know that, right? You, I'm, I, I, if you're listening to this, I know you know this, that when you help someone else, you feel terrific, right? So but when we're coming from scarcity, we don't, we don't um, reach out to other people because scarcity is, is a, a, a factor of fear. And when you're fearful, you tend to withdraw and pull in. And that's not what you want. You want to expand. You want to you blossom. You want to flow and enjoy everything around you and everyone around you. So, um, so by helping other people, we have that experience. And again, that's the, it just one thing leads to another. It's a beautiful circle that goes round and round. And the more, you, the more you reach out and enjoy other people's company, the more they want to reach out and, and enjoy with you. So... Um, so, th so this is this by by working on your scarcity mentality and shifting it to an abundance mentality, and you can do this. You will find the happiness in your life and in your business and your work and your whatever it is you do uh, will just be intensified. I can't even say how many times, but it's up, that's up to you. But it's 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 going to happen because you've made a decision to do it. So. Um, and of course, now that doesn't mean that everything is going to run smoothly. Once you're on this, oh, I'm an abundant mentality path, you know, everything's going to be super terrific, gorgeous, and the sun is always shining. No, no, of course not. We need a little rain. It rained like crazy the, last night uh, here, and that's great. So I don't have to go out and water my lawn today. I love it. It's, <laughs> you know, uh, those things are necessary. And so we get through them. But because we have an abundance mentality to start off with, any block that we come up against will just serve to strengthen us. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> I don't know if I like that expression, but in a sense, it's very true that it, it teaches you. It allows you to, to grow and learn from the experience and perhaps not do it again. And, uh, and, and, and you know, and um, be able then to share those experiences with other people and teach them how you got through it, right? Wow, that's great. So um, we're going to make mistakes. Uh, you know, that's part of life. And that's good. Uh, good. Uh, again, you see, we, we can take everything. I think a couple of weeks ago we talked about turning it around, turning things around. So when we say, oh, mistakes are bad. No, they're not bad. They are important and necessary in life. Otherwise, you don't grow. You don't learn new things. You have to try something find out maybe you didn't do it right the first time and then try it again, right? What is it, Edison uh, tried thousands of times before he invented the light bulb, but he didn't give up. So, and he won the prize, right? <laughs> so uh, definitely you want to keep realizing that things may not be smooth every, every minute of the day. You're gonna hit some bumps in the road, but with your abundance mentality, you will overcome. You'll either go around, up and over, you'll go around it, you'll go under it, you'll find a way because you'll be learning how to listen to your inner guidance. And that's what I teach. You know, I, I, after, you know, I say this uh, all the time, but I, today I really want to stress this, that um, I have been teaching people for many years how to 
find their abundance mentality, how to release the stress in their lives, how to discover their own inner wisdom that will direct them to do whatever it is they need to do to get the job done. You know, to, to find the, the, the pathway that's going to take them to, uh, to their goal, right? So this is what I've been doing, and uh, I will be starting a new course, Less Stress for More Success for the Busy Woman, and that's going to be probably toward the end of August. I don't have an exact date yet, but I would advise that you sign up because it's a very limited space. I'm only w working with a few women at a time because I want, I want quality. I want people to feel safe and that they can share what they're experiencing and uh, feel safe, and it will be a safe space. So, um, so sign up. Sign up so that you can um, get on the road. Get on the road with me. Let's, let's, go, let's take this journey together and, uh, and, and find what we really want and, des and deserve, what we really deserve. So, okay, so that's what I wanted to say today. And I also want to, what else did I want to say here? Let me look at my notes. Um, yeah, because remember, this is something I say a lot too, what you believe is what you will perceive. Again, another line from A Course in Miracles, what you believe is what you will perceive because everything starts in your own mind. If, you're, if, if in your mind the glass is half empty, you're going to see problems all the time. You're going to see lack of limitation. If the glass is half full, you're going to see opportunities. You're going to see um, the way to find the answer to that issue, okay? Even if it's not something, you know, joyful at the moment. When your glass is half full, you're going to see the world so differently, so with so much more joy and calm and and that is what we want i mean that is what we you know that's to me anyway what life should be you know is to is to be able to negotiate through our experiences whatever they may be um knowing that we're not alone that we have an inner guide within us that will direct us and, and show us what we need to know at that time and not a second before let me tell you i can speak from experience <laughs> um and then um you will, uh, you know, you'll have what you need. And, and that's, and, and not because you had to go ask a million people or, you know, do any crazy uh, things. You, you simply have that all within yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. So, um, uh, let's see. So if you want more calm, more joy, more self-confidence, more peaceful relationships, sign up for my less stress more success for the busy woman um as soon as possible and uh <laughs> and i um hope this has helped you today even just a little talk about changing your mind and realizing that abundance is something you're entitled to so please come join my uh, facebook group which is uh, Calm Creative Joyful for the Busy Businesswoman. And if you found this talk helpful and any of the talks from the past helpful, please share them. Share them with other people and who you feel would benefit as well. Um, because again, we're here to help each other, right? And, and that's, that's my whole goal. That's what I'm here for. So I think I said everything I need to say. Um, uh, and you can also get on my website, I do believe, there are people doing things in the background that I don't know about, but whatever it is, I think you should be able to get my 10 tips for uh, staying calm. And uh, that's also available at uh, MarciaGrace.com. So without further ado, I will, of course, be back next week. Uh, with a new series, perhaps. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing, but uh, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Uh, which you'd like me to talk about, uh, I'd be happy to know. So, um, so we're done for today. Have a beautiful weekend and a week ahead. And remember, everything begins with a thought. So keep those thoughts light. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>